Hello, my dear friends of electronics. Today, I invite my lovely colleague Thomas here. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Dan. Thanks for the invitation. I need your help because I'm designing uh, one IoT project and I have here two boards, two demo boards and uh, the evaluation boards from Elara and also from Tyon. And I need, first of all, a connection for uh, radio frequency connection antenna from board to board because I don't want to have any holes or wires around uh, this, this uh, device. And the second, I will need an uh, external connection to external antenna because the board will be in an enclosure and I will need an external antenna for that. So, okay, as you are the RF uh, connector expert, please give me some idea which, how can I solve my problem. Okay, so I have an idea, Laurent, but first of all, these are demo boards, so they will shrink when you're doing the Absolutely. final board. Okay. And you want to get rid of the big SMA for antenna? I try, I try okay. if there's a possibility, if you have any solution for that. Okay, so let's first start out um, with number one because it's really two different things. I would go first for the board-to-board -board RF connection. Right. I think that's the more complicated for you to integrate. So, I can offer you our SMP product range for that. As you see, the T like project. Like project, yes, like your project. Nice. And it's, uh, as you see, in this case, a THT solution because of mechanical stability. You can also have it in SMT. So with that, you have two options. The one is the smooth bore, which just allows the counterpart that transfers the RF signal to slip in, to slide in. Or you take the option with limited detent, which already snaps in, as you can hear. And you can try yourself. So this okay. really fixes so the counterpart. Smooth one. Okay, they go in and out very easy. Yes. And then I have this one. Okay. And another one. Yeah, just bring in the last one. Ah. Yeah, so you see it's really oh. yeah, that's tough. matching. That's tough, yeah. And if you combine it in an intelligent way, so you, one side the limited detent, one side the smooth bore, then you get a nice board-to-board -board connection up to 12 gigahertz, and you can mate it 500 times maximum. 12 gigahertz connection? Yes. And if you... Okay, that's goes very easy. You see all the parts are hanging on one side because yes, of the... Yes. Uh, limited detent, and so you cannot lose something when you remove your top board from the bottom board. So it's easier in the assembly yes, to do that it that will way. Work. And 12 giga is more like enough for my uh, yeah. Wi Fi and also for my GPS. Yeah, and you get a board to board height from 14 millimeter, or if it's too much, you can also go for the smaller ones, which give you a board distance of 9.3 millimeters if you combine it here. Uh huh, this is so. okay. Nice. Love so it. that would be my suggestion Great. for board-to-board -board RF transmission. Thank you for this Keep one. it for you. And how about my external antenna? Connection? Your external antenna. So if the SMA is too big for you, I would suggest um, to go to UFL or UMRF, as it's called for us. You know it from Wi-Fi uh -huh. modules and so on. Okay. Very small this connector. This is the same as what I have in my laptop. Exactly. For the Wi-Fi Exactly. So you okay. really can shrink it down here. Yeah. And Absolutely. you get it already pre-assembled with SMA for the housing side. Uh -huh. um, and the length is, can, can I do? The length can be customized already okay. in smaller volumes. That's no okay. problem. And you also can get an option on the connector with a ceiling ring. Um, so yeah. that you can uh, okay. have a better ingress protection. And what protection. is the frequency range here? Up to 6 gigahertz. So six gigahertz, okay. you told me something you need to antenna for 2.5, 2.4. Yeah. So this should be easy enough for it's you. Enough. Okay. In case you prefer something more ruggedized, you can go, of course, also for N-type. But <laughs> I would not suggest for on the board for you. But <laughs> you can maybe mount it on the housing side and then well, have it assembled by hand with this huge one My board will be a bit bigger like this one, and if I take the end connector, it will be a little bit yeah, yeah, very no, no, robust. No, no. <laughs> Don't put it on the board. You can also have them as the uh, uh, option for housing, for panel mounting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Make that would sense, be yeah. usable. Yeah, of course, this is yeah. very read, robust and, and... Yeah, so if you need it, um, yeah. uh, you know that from, uh, from uh, GPS antennas that have to be ruggedized for, yes. from weather and wind yeah. and so on, that's where it's typically Excellent. used, yeah, yeah. so I don't know where, where your enclosure will go. Stainless steel, not... 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Rusty, is uh, not at all. Yeah, this is stainless okay. steel outside, of course, and uh, gold-plated contact. And finally, Laurent, I have another one for you. Because I know when you're doing the RF development, you need to measure a lot, five times, six times, seven times. That's for sure. And this wears out your measurement port on your measurement device. Okay. So I have this little guy here. You can fix it with one side on your measurement oh, that's machine. Great. And on the other side, you put the cable, and then you just disassemble on that side. And I save the connector yes, exactly. for my you measurement. You save a lifetime for your measurement port, because you know it's going to be expensive if it's worn out. Thank you so much, Thomas. I'm very happy for that, for sure. But you know, my network analyzer have four ports, so I need four pieces. Laurent, no problem. You know, free samples. <laughs> Excellent. Great. Thank you so much. So Welcome. thank you, Thomas. I hope you enjoy it and you get some ideas. Please watch my next videos.